Fitzgerald and Moon's building block model. This is a model used to improve the performance measurement system in a service industry. The service industry has five key characteristics that differentiate it from the manufacturing industry. Intangibility, variability, simultaneity, perishability, and no transfer of ownership. Let's look at those in turn and apply them to a college course scenario. Intangibility. With a service industry, as opposed to a manufacturing industry, the output is not a physical product. For example, with regards to a college course, the service is the lecture given by the lecturer as opposed to a tangible product. Variability or heterogeneity. Output differs with services as a consistent output can be difficult to maintain, while with manufacturing industry exact duplication of products is the norm. For example, with regards to a college course, the lecture given by the lecturer will differ each time it's given. The core information may be the same, but the presentation is not. Simultaneity. With a service, a service is created and consumed at the same time. For example, with regards to the college course, the lecture is created at the same time as the students consume it. Perishability. Services cannot be stored up to be used at a later date. For example, with regards to the college course, the service of the lecture is only available for the duration of the lecture. And finally, there is no transfer of ownership. With a service, there is no transfer of a product. For example, with regards to the college course, the students do not own the lecture after it has been delivered. The Fitzgerald and Moon building block model suggests that performance measurements should be based on three building blocks, dimensions, standards and rewards. Downstream dimensions such as competitiveness and financial performance. Upstream dimensions such as quality of service, flexibility, resource utilization and innovation. Standards such as ownership, achievability and fairness. And rewards such as clarity, motivation and controllability. The dimensions are the goals of the organisation and critical success factors for the organisation should be set and measured for each dimension. For example, competitiveness can be measured using relative market share. Financial performance can be measured using turnover growth. Quality of service can be measured using product reliability. Flexibility can be measured using delivery times. Resource utilisation can be measured using productivity. Innovations can be measured using new product numbers. Downstream dimensions measure past activities and upstream dimensions measures the effect of future activities. Standards are the key performance indicators for the critical success factors set during dimension measurement. Standards should be smart, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant and time-related. Ownership. The targets should be accepted and agreed by those managers for whom they are set. This can usually be achieved by participation. Managers who participate in setting standards are more likely to accept them and be motivated by the standards than managers who have had standards imposed upon them. Achievability. Achievable but challenging standards is much more motivational than unachievable or perpetually high standards. Fairness. All managers should have and be seen to have equally challenging standards. Rewards are motivations for employees. Remember what gets measured gets done. What gets measured and fed back gets done well. And finally what gets rewarded gets repeated. Firstly there should be clarity. It should be clear how the reward scheme works. Rewards should be motivational. Finally, controllability. Employees should only be judged and rewarded based on things within their control. In summary, with dimensions think critical success factor. With standards think key performance indicator. With rewards think motivation. The advantages of the building block model are all key determinants of success are measured, financial and non-financial, using internal and external information. The building block model is linked to corporate strategy and is specifically tailored for the service industry. Reward systems motivate employees and targets are set in a way to engage employees through ownership, achievability and fairness. The disadvantages of the building block model is that it's not suitable for a non-service company and it can be difficult to see how the building block links to the strategic objectives of the organisation.